Hello. I know it's been a while, but I've been really busy with Panic, my girlfriend. And we've been hiding in the closet more often because the house has been empty because everybody works jobs, job, big jobs. So they're busy. So they're never here. So we found the camera. They tried to hide it again from us, but I found it. Today, I wanted to talk about something serious, if that's okay. Are you ready? Can you be serious? I, I'm going to try to be. I might even have a song. We'll see. But we talked to Sarah, the neighbor. She's the lesbian hipster in apartment two through the closet. She talks to us. She's never seen us, but she talks to us a lot. Me and Panic and Dubstep Dragon, who is a meanie butt. I don't like DJs anymore. No. But anyway, that is not what we're talking about today. We're talking about how Sarah was sad yesterday. She was sad because she said she lost her mom and her dad and her grandparents and the cousins and friends and lots of other people she knew. She lost them. At first, me and Panic were very confused. What is, why can't you find them? Where did they go? Are they under the bed? Are they in, in the closet? She said no, that they died. What? I had to ask her what that meant. Panic knew. Panic said, oh, don't ask, don't ask, because it's bad to know. I was wondering. So Sarah said, it's when their life stops. Humans' life stops. And they, they go somewhere else. They might go to heaven, or they might go to forever land, or hell, or, or wherever they might believe, or nowhere, or they haunt. She thought we were ghosts. She explained what ghosts were too. But, so, it made me think. Did I have a mom and dad? And Panic remembered. Panic said, yeah, I had a mom and a dad. My dad, she said, is still scaring people because he's big and frightening. And then I remembered him. And then she said, my mom got erased. And me and Sarah were like, what's erased mean? And Panic, Panic, how did you put it? It's when, it's when they, when the people, the humans decide to not believe in you anymore. It's horrible. It's so sad when they've decided not to believe. They stop believing. Yeah, they forget. Or they decide they don't want you in their life anymore. But why? Because they decide it's bad to have imaginary friends. Or it's bad to know there's monsters. But, but Sarah was like, why would you want to forget? I never forget my mom, she said. I never forget my dad, ever, she said. We can never forget, she said. And I was very alarmed when I found out my mom had been erased. This made me very sad. Why would anyone want their imaginary friend or monster or ghost to go away? So I decided last night to imagine my mom. I tried and tried and tried to believe she was here, still with me. 
She was big and scary. She had claws and big teeth and she had big, big horns and three eyes like me and rainbow hair as nice as mine. But she was scary. She was a scary imaginary friend. And, and I couldn't quite make her come because somebody had really erased her. So I have some advice to you all. No one is lost. Lost is a bad way to put it. You don't lose someone. You don't lose anyone. You don't forget. You remember them for everything they were. I can only remember what my mom looked like now and the way she tasted. Because us imaginary monsters lick each other hello and goodbye. But I just wanted to tell you all, YouTube land and peoples of the netters, to stop forgetting people. Stop erasing people. You didn't say goodbye, but don't ever forget. Sarah and me and Panic had a good cry last night. I have never cried, but I needed to. I love you, little boy. Did you hear that? You're my little baby. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard that. Panic, what was that? I think it was your mom. You think it was? I think she's here with you. I can feel her, but I can't see her. That's what Sarah said. We can always feel them. Remember them. Smell them. Think of them. Give them presents if we want. But we should never forget or erase because memories are magic. Well, that was as serious as I can get today. I just wanted to tell you all to stop saying you lose someone or lost someone. You lose a pencil. You lose a game of checkers. You don't lose someone unless you choose to. I will always remember. I will always remember too. I love you, Panic. I love you. And I love all of you. Remember each other, bad or good. Just remember.